Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today I'm playing some Dirt 5. Finally got my hands on this game. It's finally fully fully out. Obviously I've played the game before but it is now fully fully out and also a really really cool thing. This video is actually sponsored by Codemasters which is awesome. I can actually play this game and I also get sponsored to play it which is brilliant. Now if you'd like to sign up and get the game yourselves there is a link down below where you guys can click on and check it out. Brilliant. I absolutely love this game back when I had the chance to play it a few months ago and um, obviously we only had a couple of features that we were able to mess around with uh, over through this menu here but now obviously the full game is out. It's out now on November 6th uh, so probably as soon as you guys are watching this video which is really really cool but that means that the game is also going to be released on the next gen consoles um, when they come out. So let me go into a little bit more detail now before I get into the whole gameplay thing. So basically the game is out right now on November 6th and it's out on PS4, it's out on Xbox One and it's out on PC. Uh, you can get it on Steam which is what I'm playing through now but like I said you can get it on the PS4 and the Xbox One with a special little thing where basically once the brand new consoles get released so the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 once those consoles are released you can actually upgrade to those consoles for free. So if you already have a PlayStation 4 version of this game or an Xbox One version of this game, you can literally get a free upgrade to the next-gen consoles. You don't have to pay or anything. You literally can just get it and play on those consoles as well, which is really, really cool. Also, the game is coming out on Google Stadia in 2021 if you guys are looking forward to that as well. Anyway, let's actually finally get into some gameplay of this because I really, really want to play. I really want to see what we can uh, what we can do here. So I'm probably going to hop into just an arcade. I want to see what everything looks like. Um, it's uh, I'm going to talk a bit about, you know, more about the game as I'm playing it. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and just hop into an arcade. I'm going to be just, uh, yeah, let's do a time, pro uh, time trial. Obviously, we can set any sort of... Uh, any sort of locations or anything here uh, that I really want to. I can change location, obviously, from all of these places that we have here. Uh, I can even change... I don't know why I keep clicking the RB buttons. But, uh, yeah, you can even change the type of car that you're using, the class of cars. You can change the weather. You can change the time. Oh, God. There's a lot of customization or customizability, I guess, through all of these... Um, through all these options here just for free play. And, obviously, we'll have a career mode that I'm going to go ahead and play through that as well. Ooh. I like the BMW M2, and uh, this is also in the game. So only two cars I own here, and that's these two. This Aston Martin <laughs> V8 Vantage GT4 rally version, literally lifted off-road rally version of it. And then we also have this TT Safari uh, built here, which is actually really, really cool. Uh, I'm going to use the Aston Martin just because I kind of want to. It's also rear-wheel drive, so we should kind of test out a little bit of the physics of it. Um, but yeah, anyway. Oh, yeah, my, my mouse is... My mouse is low. Um, we can, I guess, get different builds for this. Oh my god. Oh, there's like pre-built stuff as well. So yeah, we can probably change a lot of the design and stuff like that here if I go into create. But I'm going to leave it just the way it is for now. What okay, let's oh, actually try and play well, this. It because you won't have enough time oh, James Murphy. Oh, I forgot about that. That is so sick, actually. Uh, if you're playing career mode, you so will have a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of really, really cool people in the game. Now, for some reason, there is no audio. Um, and it's pretty much, I'm pretty sure, because I turned down the music. Um, and that cut off the, the audio as well, completely. I turned off the music, obviously, because I'm making a video on it. So I'm not going to be able to, you know, blast music in the background. It seems a bit quiet now. But trust me, once once the once you get the game and you play it yourself, there's, a, there's, there's music. And there's good music at it as well. I'm struggling for grip here. Already. I legit only just started. Okay. I have no stability assist on at all. So I'm gonna be a little bit more careful with the way I drive. As soon as I hop onto every single game, I always turn off traction control and stability control. Every single time. So let me try to get used to the physics real quick here. It's definitely slippery. And you can definitely tell that it's rear-wheel drive. It's a super colorful game. Okay, before I get even more sidetracked. So yeah, basically, when you guys hop into career, uh, career mode... Ooh, even a handbrake actually works quite well. 
when you hop into career mode, you are Im immediately immediately welcomed by a bunch of uh, a bunch of really cool people. Those being uh, Troy Baker and Nolan North as your main characters, and then you also have James uh, Pumphrey and Nolan Sykes from Donut Media. So that's also really really sick that they somehow made it into the game. Oh, that's really sick. This is a really colorful game, by the way. Okay, there is dirt build up on the car as well. Okay, okay, okay. So this is something that um, I've noticed from the previous versions of the build. Obviously, it's a little different. Well, actually, it's a lot different to the previous versions of the build. I really like the cockpit cameras for, for dirt games. I think they do a really, really good job. Even for previous dirt games, they also did a really, really good job. Okay, I, I tried to take a sideways. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I tried to take a sideways. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, I can definitely slide this game. That's good. Where's my headlights? How do you turn on headlights? Oh, I just slam on my brakes! Okay, got a bit too fast here. Okay, this thing is filthy. Okay, it's a filthy, filthy car. It's so weird that there's no music here. <laughs> it's really, really weird that there's no music. What's really, really cool about the whole, um, the whole setup here with this, I'll, I'll go back to the main menu, and it's something that I've noticed really quickly as soon as I came on to the game. If I go back to this, I can press the button up there and it says I can join split screen. There's actually four player split screen on this. Obviously, there's a standard online multiplayer and, and all that, but like there's just split screen. When was the last time you guys have seen split screen in a video game? It's been so, so long. Now, obviously, one of the things that I really wanted to have a look in this game is the photo mode. I did realize that there were some people on Twitter already posting pictures of photo mode in this game. And I realized how good it actually looks. Like, there's a huge amount of details in a lot of cars in this game. Obviously, right now, I'm very out of focus. And uh, I need to mess around with a lot of the stuff. But you do have quite a bit of options here to mess around with. You can even change the time of day. Which is so sick. In the middle of the thing. I, there's a lot of games that can get photo mode very, very wrong. And I think there's a lot of games that can get it right. Um, so, I'm happy that this game, I think by the looks of things, has quite a good, quite a good photo mode here. And obviously, obviously there's a ton of detail in a lot of stuff here. There actually is. This is sick. I, I, I like the photo mode here. And I'm definitely going to be using it for a lot of thumbnails in, in the videos to come on this game. That's really, really cool. Now I decided to hop into just a free roam session here. With one of these Twiregs. I had to see what it was like. And I'm in a quarry right now. This game is genuinely fun. It's actually really fun to play. It's easy to get the hang of it as well. The driving physics are somewhat arcadey on it. So they're not like... They're not like a... Um, they're not like Dirt Rally where it's like a lot closer to being a simulator. It's it's definitely an arcade racer. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's literally nothing wrong with that. It's not like the game literally plays for you either though. Like you still have to counter steer, you still have to control throttle and stuff like that. It's it's still it's still there. You still have to actually know how to how to drive a little bit. To be able to to be good at this game. There's a lot of like pre like pre-predicted like things you have to do. Like you have to predict where your car is gonna be at and how it lands and stuff like that. There's it doesn't it doesn't play for you. Let's just put it that way. That's sick. I like the dirt build up as well. That's that's very, very good. I'm definitely liking the dirt build up. It's something games can get very, very wrong. 
but I've seen it on previous games, but I like this. The more you drive it, the more... The more puddles and that you go into, the worse it gets. You can see it just slowly getting worse and worse. I can't even read the, the ridge on the back anymore. It's just completely covered right now. Now, no, I've only looked at a couple of events in this game. Uh, pretty much just a time trial and a free roam with laps and stuff like that. But there are three main modes here, which is Gate Crusher, which is pretty much a start to finish thing, like just a, a checkpoint race. So kind of like a time trial. Uh, then there's Jim Kana. Everyone knows what Jim Kana is. So there's that where you just have to sort of send yourself as, as hard as you possibly can and also crash into things pretty much get a really high score in a specific amount of time and uh, then the last thing is smash attack where you can collect objects as quickly as possible i'll definitely be playing every single one of those whilst i will be doing a career mode on the channel so if you guys would like to check that out then i guess feel free to subscribe so now that we took a quick look at this game, I'm going to move on to the final bit of this video. And it's something that Codemasters ended up sending me. Now, I knew that they were actually going to send me something because I've been asked my t-shirt size. And I was like, you know what? I thought I was going to get a t-shirt, but this is sick. Look at this. It is literally like a toolbox. And there's a bunch of stuff inside. There's loads of different types of stickers on the box itself. And there's actually a bunch of stickers in the box. Um, where I can pretty much stick them to whatever I want. But this little toolbox is... It's actually not even that little, honestly. I thought it was going to be, like, literally a t-shirt. But I took this thing out of the main box itself. And it's sick. It's all full metal. It's really, really sturdy. And then, obviously, once you open it up fully, this is what it looks like. I'm greeted with two copies of Dirt 5. One for PlayStation 4 and one for Xbox One. And under this little letter here, I also have a t-shirt. But before we get to that, as you can see, I have a bunch of really cool things. A little USB stick. I also got some Beats by Dre wireless earphones. Um, a t-shirt. There you go. There's a t-shirt there. And a mask. And then underneath all of that, there's a ton of stickers that, uh, that I've been sent. Now, on the shelf underneath that, there are actually a bunch of chocolates from all of the locations that you can access in the game. As you can see, they're all marked as well where uh, where they're all pretty much from. And uh, this is it. Everything listed out, <laughs> out of the actual box itself. So all the chocolates are there uh, on the desk. And then obviously the, uh, the crate being fully open. There's the beats as well. Uh, they're kind of sick, honestly. And uh, the two copies of the game with the chest pretty much opened up. So big, big thank you to Codemasters for sending this uh, this little care package out to me. I, I really, 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 really like it. And final thing I'm going to say is, again, if you guys want to check out um, more about Dirt 5, more information about it, if you want to buy it yourself, do all that sort of stuff, there is a first link down in the description box below. Go check it out. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Goodbye.